Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have got something that is truly special. Over the last couple of years I've had a lot of people text, email, and even comment asking if there's a wheelchair accessible travel trailer and I never really had a good answer for them outside of a toy hauler. Well today I'm down at Funtown RV Superstore in Cleburne, Texas and they had this just sitting here on the lot and there's not even a video on the internet about this because I walked in and I was like, how have I not seen this? It has an actual bathtub, safety rails under the sink. There's nothing but openness so you can wheel right up to it and do some dishes. This is a truly functional floor plan for somebody that needs you know, some accommodations for a wheelchair. It's the 2023 Trail Runner 341RU. All the specifications, including a link for the price, will be down in the description of this video. But man, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Hit that like and subscribe button. Help me reach my goal of 75,000 subscribers here in 2024. But let's go ahead. We're going to start on the inside and then work our way around on the outside. But again, it's the 2024 Trail Runner 341RU. And right off the bat, what you're going to notice is these doors are like, look at this. So right here, let me see if I can zoom in. I got a new little toy. I don't know how to zoom yet on the camera, but you see that door. It's a little bit skinny. Look how big and wide these doors are. And it looks like that one's even a little bit wider. So if you wanted to build a ramp going up to it, you absolutely could. Um, man, it's just an incredible floor plan. I'm excited about this one. I'm excited to show you this one. So I'm going to give you a quick little kind of overview. And then if you care to see more, you know, you can kind of tune in. But right up here, you got your bed, which you got plenty of space. You also have a curtain and some storage here underneath. But look how this floor plan has the slide. And it's all one straight shot, one hallway going all the way down to a bathroom. It's even got some bunks. And then you got the kitchen. But look at how that is you know, freed up there underneath. So you can really kind of get in there and do some dishes. I'm going to start in the back and then work, work my way forward. But uh, man, this is the bathroom right here. Absolutely incredible. A ton of space. I even like the decor on it, having a little bit of that, you know, darker coloring there on the floor. I just think it looks pretty slick. But right here is going to be really the star of the show. I have never seen an RV, truthfully, with even a tub let alone a real tub and you got the safety rails just to kind of help you out you know if you do need if you're standing or if you're sitting and need help up you also got places for your you know your soaps and your shampoos but look at that i mean that is a real legit tub inside of a travel trailer you also got a little seat where you can sit down you know plump your buns down and shower you also got a little hook that keeps the shower up and then you got a little skylight too and then for head height reference you know, I'm six feet tall and, you know, getting in here, we're probably looking at about six, seven up into the roof. So it's fairly wide open here as well, but you're also going to get plenty of space again to move around with the toilet back in the corner. Uh, so that way, you know, you can do your thing. You also got the rails as well, two emergency exits. So pull, push and plop, you know, if something crazy happens, you need to get out. You got the ability to do that there. And then you have the sink right here. And again, I just love the fact that it's open concept. So again, you can kind of wheel right up there and get in that. I kind of wish more RVs would do this. I'd hate to get away of the storage, but maybe having some removable shelves underneath wouldn't be the worst thing the RV industry has seen. You also have enough countertop space to be dangerous and you got your fan vent and then a place where you can check uh, your different fills for your different tanks there as well. You got a little mirror so you can check out bowling guns. And then you also get some good storage you know, right here as well, but pretty darn cool. I mean, that's also would be perfect for someone with kids. You know, I've got four kids at home. You've got the bunks, you've got a tub. My two and a half year old would absolutely love that. You also have a little bit of a privacy curtain right here that goes over. The bunks are going to be the, uh, the teddy bear mattress with the storage there up underneath, but you get a pretty good weight rating on there as well. It's going to be the 300 capacity. What does that say? Hi, Mom. I love you, Mom. I wrote that. <laughs> Just wanted to sneak it in there. So right here, you got your, your AC. You also have a second one right up there. And then this door right here 
is going to be incredibly wide. And let me show you this too. Let me flip the camera around. I am six foot, 300 pounds. So I am a pretty round dude. And you can see, I mean, I can get through this door with absolute, let me see if I can get it. Look at that. I mean, that's just incredible. And I'll show you that again here on the outside portion, but I just want to kind of get that little view out of the way. Here's going to be your slide room control. And then your, um, I presume the awning on the outside. Heading back in, again, all of that open and usable space right there. Pretty darn slick. So I'm going to start with the kitchen. I'm going to start with the 12-volt refrigerator. So you got the refrigerator that's down on the ground, so it makes it a little bit easier to access. You also have the ability to open it up from this way or from this way. So that's pretty cool. As it closes, it changes uh, which hinge is kind of locked in same thing with the freezer but it's a 12 volt so it'll run off the battery you know the solar uh your truck when you're driving down the road you know things of that nature you also get really nice and deep i can't even touch the end and i've got pretty normal size arms but you know i like seeing that you also got the black cooktop here on top of your three stovetop burners so you can whip up all the fixings and then you have an oven that's big enough, you know, for a pizza, DiGiorno, something of that nature. That just turned on the fan. So you have a Greystone, you got a fan and a light right here. More storage, and this is going to be the same here as it is there as well. But really nice depth, ton of countertop space. You also have a little uh, shelf right there if you need to put some like spice racks or cooking or anything like that. But pretty darn slick. You got your microwave and your fuse box. So if something isn't working, make sure to check that out. It'll glow up nice and red for you. Bada bing, bada boom. And we'll spin it back around. You have your slide out is going to be right here. So that's what opens this up and gives it really good, you know, usable space as you're going through. You also get another closet that's got a second level just like this directly underneath. But this is also a pretty tall slide here too. So you're probably looking at about 5'9 or so for head height there. Flip it around. The table is going to be much wider than normal too. So that way you can get in and out just a hair easier. You also notice it doesn't have the knee knockers. So you don't have to worry about that. And then you get some pretty okay size windows. You got the curtains there. You also notice that the two middle ones do open up with that one being an emergency exit. You also get a sofa that does drop down uh, to make a bed there too as well. And then we are back up to the front, you know, where you have your, your queen size bed and storage there underneath. But I think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of the tour. Again, this is the 2023 Trail Runner 341RU. And I don't know what the RU stands for. And in case you missed it, the specifications, a link for the pricing and all that will be down in the uh, down in the description. But now let's go around the outside, show you what she's all about. There's going to be that big old wide door right there. Funtown's got the steps going up just to kind of show you, you know, how it works here. But these are the kind of steps that do flip up back into the doorway. You also notice you have a good size awning, so if you want to come out, if you're not using the steps or if you want to set up a table or something just to have a little picnic action you are able to do so pretty good looking too just being all white you also have a rock guard up front along with a place for a battery your tongue jack and your two 20 pound propane tanks babe if you're watching i love you you also got a little pass through storage action which has my backpack in there but uh, ignore that but i like how it's got the linoleum it also shows off some of that aluminum frame construction Manual stabilizing jacks, dual axle, and you can lock that door open, by the way. And then heading out the back here, you're going to see you get a bumper with a spare tire. You're going to plug your unit in right here, and you also got a cable hookup right there. City connection, and then a uh, looks like a black tank flush, which is basically going to be a sprinkler system for your poop tank there. You got your gray tank and sewer outlet connection. And then your freshwater connection here as well. 
along with your other tank there, your other flush. But all right, guys, I think, yeah, that about wraps it up. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Give me a shout and we'll talk about it. <laughs> this is the 2023 Trail Runner 341RU. My name is Hunter, have a great day. See you.